Next Wednesday, between 10 and 11, we're having our York School Science Fair. So we will, all the science teachers will have their Google Meet rooms open. All the students in eighth grade science and biology will have their um, projects. And you're just going to be able to drop into any of the science teachers' Google Meet rooms, and you can ask them all about their projects. We will have a list of project titles. Um, so if there's one you're particularly interested in, you can figure out which room that's in. But all of the uh, math and science teachers' rooms will have um, seven or eight projects in them, and you can just drop in and ask the students all about their projects. That's next Wednesday, 10 till 11. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Um, Mr. Peters. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Um, and I just want to give a quick announcement about on the sports front. Um, things are emerging and changing at, under our feet right currently, and we have some opportunities to begin to have social distancing cross country for a very small number of runners, um, as well as the potential for in March for um, uh, some possible golf activity uh, on the golf course and possibly even some matches. So if people are interested in that, uh, they will be very limited with, in terms of size and scope. So they'll, they'll be still under the criteria of small numbers, um, very much along the cohort model in many ways. So if people are interested, we already have seven people, for example, in the cross country cohort, but we could take as many as seven more um, with potential meets beginning uh, within the next few weeks. Um, and golf matches, the same thing somewhere in the neighborhood of small numbers of four to six, something like that. So if you're interested, make sure to email me and I'll have more information as we slowly roll out these potential um, small um, possible uh, schools, head-to-head -head school kinds of activities. So just to give you a heads up, thank you so much. All right, thanks, Mr. Peters. Um, our last announcement is going to be Jay-Z. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Hope you had a good three-day weekend. Just a reminder that there is no Community Wednesday tomorrow. Tomorrow's a B-Day. Um, I also had some questions about the origins of President's Day. There are some misconceptions around it. Some people think it's a day that we celebrate all U.S. presidents. Some think that it's a mix of celebrating the birthdays of both Abraham Lincoln and George Washington, but neither of those is correct. The truth is, it's only the celebration of George Washington's birthday. That's right. The one and only is the only reason for this holiday. The confusion came in the 1960s when federal holidays were moved to Mondays as the day that the federal government observed holidays. Uh, that was 68, I think, under President Nixon. Some people wanted this day to be called President's Day since Lincoln's birthday is close to Washington's birthday, but the federal government never adopted this. Although some states did because states are not required to recognize federal holidays. So as time went on, there was more confusion. But the truth is that this day is only a celebration of the first president's birthday. So now you know the rest of the story. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you for that, Ms. or Jay-Z. Appreciate it. I did not know that. So, you know, I learned something here. I hope you guys did too. Um, I think we'll learn a little bit more with our sophomore speech too. Um, Kate, you want to transition? Yeah, we've got one sophomore speech today, and the lucky person is Eli. So, if everyone wants to give him a round, Woo! Eli! Woo! Eli! Woo! You need to focus more. Why don't you pay attention? These along with others are the phrases that I heard regularly when I was in elementary and middle school. Along with not being focused, I was frequently, I would frequently get into trouble for being distracted and not talking. 
Once in second grade, I got my scissors taken away from me for sharpening a pencil with them. Four times in a day. Of, of course, the wood shavings peeling away from my writing utensil would be much more interesting than what we were learning at the time. I mean, how useful is basic arithmetic anyway? Figuring out ways to stealthily obtain four pairs of scissors is a much more important life skill. That being said, it's obvious I was frequently distracted, and my grades suffered because of it. Up until a couple of years ago, I was told that the solution was to just focus more and to be less distracted. Looking back on that now, it's clear I wasn't uninterested in what I was learning, actually quite the opposite, but I was practically a textbook definition of someone with ADHD. Now, if you're anything like me, when you think of the stereotype of someone with ADHD, you think of that one kid in elementary school running in circles in the playground, screaming, chasing someone for no reason, or something equally chaotic, but that's not what it is. ADHD is just a deficiency of naturally produced stimulant in the brain, and that chaoticness you think of is just how that kid was scratching that itch. I know that people generally know about the downsides of ADHD, but I personally like to focus on the benefits of it. And though generally it does make things harder to focus on for me, when I do become focused, I sometimes start to hyper-focus, entering a flow state of sorts. This can bring me into a headspace where everything almost becomes tunnel vision, losing myself in whatever I'm doing for hours on end, the world around me melting away until all that remains in the world is me, my desk, and whatever I'm working on at that moment. I feel almost as if I'm sitting on an island, surrounded by en endless water and tranquility. Now, what I'm trying to say is that for everything, there's upsides and downsides. Those can be in different amounts. Gray clouds with silver lining, silver clouds with gray. Very little is ever truly all that. Thank you. I love that speech. And I feel like it was such a good transition from um, our last sophomore speech, and uh, you did a really great job of illustrating what ADHD is like for you, and I definitely feel for you and um, love that you kind of embrace that and all that it is and, you know, the positives and the negatives that it brings for you, and uh, yeah, you did an amazing job. Thank you. Yeah, um, very proud that, you know, um, you're able to look at the positives. I know it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do a lot of the times when, you know, you're you have something you're dealing with or you have something that's it's it's not you're not able to change um but um to take that and use it to your advantage um get in a hyper focused you know study habit um you know i wish i had that um that's awesome so you know just using it to your advantage is a great thing and thank you for sharing that with us um yeah two great sophomore speeches back to back we've had them all year um looking forward to the next one have a great week, guys. We have a short one, but um, like Jay-Z said, make sure um, you go to your classes tomorrow because it's not Community Wednesday. But um, yeah, take care, guys. Have a great week.